Today, uh, the presentation is about this tracking app called Family Suite 360. So first of all, um, what is Family 360? Family 360 is an app available on smartphones that allow family members or group of people share their locations with each other in real time. It is particularly useful for staying in touch with loved ones, ensuring safety, and coordinating coordinating activities. The app offers various features, including location sharing, emergency alerts, and driving safety information. So how it works. Uh, the first one is GPS tracking. This app uses GPS technology to check and share locations. And geofencing is, automatically, is automated alerts based on predefined geography the call area and driving report, uh, and then the driving reports, which is analyze driving patterns and provide feedback. The safety features, they have emergency SOS and crash detective, detection. And this is the key features of Family360. The first one is real-time location sharing. So it allows people group members to see each other's location on a map. And the second one is place alert. It can notify you when a member arrives at or leaves a specific location. And then a safety, driving safety, it can provide driving reports that included speed, phone usage, and heartbreaking. Panic bottom is it can send an emergency alert to your location to all group members. And then they have private messaging. So it's able to text communication within the group. Also the crash detection, it can detect car accident and automatically alert emergency contract. Also they have battery monitoring. It can show the battery level of different group members phone. Then we have circle members. It can allow you to create different groups or circles for various purposes. So how so how to use the Family 360? The first one, the first step, we need to download the app. For iPhone users, open the App Store, search for Family 360, and tap the get button. For Android user, Open the Google Play Store, search for Family360, and tap Install. The step two, you need to set up an account. So when you open the Family360 app, you will be promoted to create an account. Enter the email address, create a password, and fill in your name. You may also be asked to enter your phone number for ver ver verification purpose. And the step three, you will you can creating a circle. So a circle is a group of people with whom you share with your location. After setting up your account, you will be promoted to create your first circle. Name the circle, for example, you can say family, and then you can invite others to join by entering their phone numbers or sending them an invited link. Or you can join joining our circle. So if someone had invited you to their circle, you will receive an in invitation link by message or email. And when you type the link, the Family360 app will open and it can add you to the circle. The navigating the Family360 app. So the first we will see, which is the home screen, they have a really back, back map, map view. This is the main screen you will see when you open the map. It shows a map with the location of all your circle members. And the dashboard, so it's below the map, you will find a summary of recent activity, including location updates and alerts. And then the location sharing, you can see where everyone in the, your circle is located on the map in real time. Tap a member's 
uh, on the map, then you can get more detail, such as their current address, battery level, or how long they've been there at their location. Uh, the number three is place alert. To set up alerts, to go to the menu, the main menu by tapping the three horizontal lines, usually in the top left corner. So select places and then tap add place. You can set locations such as home or work. Uh, you will receive notifications when a circle member arrive at or leave these places. The driving safety, the app can mineral driving behavior, providing insights into how safety members are driving. Go to the main menu and select driving to view driving reports, including information on top speed, phone usage, and heart braking. And the number five, emergency and safety features. They have the panic button. To use the panic button, press and hold on the bottom of the home screen. This will send an alarm to all circle members with your location and indicate that you need help. And the crash detection is family success uh, 360 can automatically detect a car crash and send alert to your emergency contact. This feature is usually attractive when you set up your account, but, but you can check its stat status under the safety section in the setting. So how to in, how to managing your circle? So on the uh, first step, we need to understand what is circle in Family 360. It is a private group that you created to share with your location with selected family members or friends. Each circle is independent, meaning that people in one circle cannot see information about people in another circle unless they are part of both. Inviting family members to your circle. So open a family 360 app, go to main screen, tap on circle management from the menu, select invite new members, choose how you'd like to send the invitation. You can send it by text message email or sharing a unique code that in, then they can enter in their family 360 app. And once they accept the innovation invitation, they will appear on your circles map. And how to manage in circle setting settings, tap on the circle management a pain a patient in uh, in the menu. So here you can change the name of your circle, manage notifications of the for the circle. So when someone arrives at a certain places, they can uh, notify you. And you can remove members from the circle if you want. Adjusted setting. Adjust the setting by tapping the journal geo icon. Uh, usually find it in the top right corner of the screen. Here you can manage various preferences, such as notification setting, location sharing, and privacy options. Privacy concerns. So if you are concerned about privacy, Family360 allows you to temporarily turn off location sharing. Go to the setting and talk the location sharing options to off. Keep in mind that other circle members will not able to see your location when this is turned off. And also there has the membership plans. So Family360 offers both a free version and premium plans that included additional features like six, uh, like 30 days of location history, extend crush detection, or roadside assistance um, to upgrade. To, to upgrade, go to the men main menu, select membership, and choose the plan that best suits your need. Uh, this is the troubleshooting common issue, location accuracy problem. So check the GPS setting, ensure the GPS is, able, is enabled on your phone that the Family360 app can permission to assess your location. Uh, reset the app. Sometimes restarting the app can resolve RQC issue. Update the app, ensure you have the latest version of Family360 installed. Notification not working, 
check notification setting, go to your phone setting and ensure the notification to for family 360 are, a, are enabled. Check app setting within family 6, 360, uh, verify, verify that notifications are set according to your preference. App performance issue, restart your, your phone. So like when you restart your phone, that can often resolve most of the issues. And reinstall the app. On installing and reinstalling, Family 360 may fix any persistent problems. And content support, if issue continue content, you can contact Family 360 customer support for assistance. The, ben the benefits of this app, so it can enhance safety by real-time tracking and emergency alerts. And then the second one, improve communication. It will, it's an easy way to stay connected with family members. And peace of mind, you can know where your loved ones are and how they are doing. They also have the driving insights, so it can help improve driving habits for safety. So uh, thank you for listening. If you would like to learn this lesson with a cyber senior mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call 1-844-217-3057 to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone section. We also host a weekly tech drop in section from 2 to 3 p.m. ET on, thir on Thursday. <laughs>